This is another climate craze video from the You're Not Supposed to Know That Files, Antarctic Volcanoes. Yes, indeed, Antarctica is the new hotspot when it comes to volcanoes. Most are led to believe the South Pole is a frozen wasteland, which is perilously in danger from relentless man-made global warming activities, which, of course, is just climate alarmism propaganda. So instead of propaganda, let's look at the data. Even though NASA, which also believes humans are causing global warming, produced this computer-generated thermal image of Antarctica. It shows relative warming during the 1957 to 2006 time period. Now, if there really was global warming affecting the South Pole, then why is only the western part lit up in red colors? Climate alarmists will tell you it's the warm ocean currents or some related gibberish. Common sense tells you that ocean currents are naturally warmer than ice because the ocean currents are not frozen. But what is not reported by the climate alarmists is what's hiding underneath the ice. Before 2017, we only knew of 47 visible volcanoes on Antarctica. They are listed here as reported by the Volcano Discovery website. The largest of them all is Mount Erebus. It is the largest and tallest and the most active volcano. However, during 2017, and thanks to new satellite and radar technologies, 91 new volcanoes have been found, bringing the total volcano count to 138. The comparison map on the right contains dots depicting the locations of most of the newly discovered 91 volcanoes, and they are all under the ice. Those volcanoes are responsible for the rapid melting of western Antarctica, and more importantly, we don't know how many are active. Furthermore, scientists are working on better sensing equipment to find out how many more volcanoes exist down under. In the meantime, the South Pole region is now known as the world's largest volcanic region. Who knew? And according to the Science News for Students website, these newly discovered volcanoes are giant volcanoes, and of course, they are capable of gigantic heating when active. Several of Antarctica's volcanoes periodically erupt, but Mount Erebus has been in a nearly constant state of eruption since 1841. What's even more amazing is its seemingly perpetual lava lake. There are only seven volcanoes on Earth with long-lasting lava lakes. The most famous is Mount Kilauea on Hawaii, and Mount Erebus is the farthest south. Lava lake temperatures can reach up to 1,700 degrees Fahrenheit which of course is just hot enough to melt ice. The Mount Erebus lava lake can even be seen from space. So while the climate alarmists admit that volcanoes may help melt the South Pole ice, that is just more misinformation. And as always, if you want to know the truth, you look at the data and not the narrative. That's why Jim Bergenson once said, Data will talk to you if you're willing to listen.